Hello student. Today's lecture will be inverse variation. I have given an example of a car traveling and fuel consumed in direct variation. X suppose say distance covered by the car while Y is the fuel used. More the distance covered, more the fuel used. Lesser the distance covered, lesser the fuel used. So this type of variation is known as static variation. So we write it x proportional to y. And we prove that x by y is giving some constant which is known as variation constant and that is non-zero. As per the definition of static variation, this was the case. Unlike direct variation, inverse variation differs slightly. Supposing we consider two quantities A quantity 1 and B quantity In case of inverse variation, we say that whenever first quantity is multiplied by the second quantity, we get a constant, for example, k dash, which is not equals to 0. Or we can simply write a proportional to 1 by b. B. So, this is as per the definitions of inverse variation. That means, when the first quantity is multiplied by the second quantity, we get a constant k dash which is non-zero. Let us consider an example. Question 1. 50 villages this is a prime example of inverse variation 50 villages are doing work in 15 days 18 days sorry and now we need to find number of villages needed to dig the same pond in 15 days let us consider x to be villages and y to be days. As for the definitions of inverse variation, we can write x inversely proportional to 1 by b. Or we can even write x into y equals to k, where k is constant not equals to 0. Putting the values, substituting the values. So in first case, x is equals to 50 and y is equals to 18. So 50 into 18 equals to k which is giving us 900 the value of k to be 900 likewise second case can be solved x proportional to 1 by y and x into y equals to k dash k dash is also a constant which is non-zero but we know xy equals to k therefore xy equals to k dash equals to k 
and we had already found out the values k to be 900 so now substituting the values of x and y from here number of days to be 15 x we don't know x is let us dx only y to be 15 equals to 900 so x equals to 900 by 15 so 15 ones are 15 15 6 is a 900 therefore x the value of x come out to be 60 but our question is not to find out the number of men so extra men needed extra men needed to dig the same pond in 15 days extra men needed to dig the same pond in 15 days is equals to 60 minus 50 so that is 10 villages so this is the answer so i hope you all have understood the basic idea regarding inverse variation and how to solve the problem of inverse variation thank you in order to understand the variation topic properly student please go and watch my direct variation topic also in youtube channel school cracker